that Absent Page is technically Midwest. Yeah, Minnesota's a little far from Midwest, <laughs> yeah. but uh, he's he's still there. Yeah, I feel like well, it's because like I feel like everyone who's Midwest like reps it, and Absent Page just doesn't. No, he doesn't care. Never. Well, he doesn't he doesn't really rep very much of anything. Yeah, he's got that jersey on under there, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's hiding. He's a very 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 quiet guy. For not sure. not very outspoken about uh, anything. Yeah, unless, unless you look at his Twitter. I mean, speaks to this gameplay. <laughs> yeah, right away. <laughs> Aerial shine on the Falcon, and O'Reilly's gonna dip out, but not before taking 66% and maybe losing his stock. Nice support by Rick. But the Foxes have taken over Final Destination. And they're just gonna try and get both of them here. Yeah. I definitely just saw a red team go to the ledge, and Aerial from ledge like six times in a row, and every time they got kicked in the face. You know, Fox is a technical character, but he demands a lot of technique out of his opponents, too. He's going to force you to hit that ledge dash, get right back up on stage just so you can be in a bad situation. Yep. Ooh, nice. Ah, dude, just the Fox Bulldozer, just a racing red team space contro stage control. They had, like, a perfect setup, and the Fox just ran in and shined aired, and everything disappeared. Nice cleanup of the stock though by Rick, and actually Red Team doing pretty well in the beginning of this game. Yeah, it started off looking really gross for Red Team. And here they are uh, making something of it. Uh, yeah, keeping keeping Green Team at bay pretty uh, nicely whenever they're able to actually link up with each other again. Yeah, and I mean, um, what Green Team has is obviously their control, uh, their pressure. But what Red Team has is they have setups. Like, Falco and Falcon together actually have a lot of, like, shield pressure they can do. Not just by themselves, but as a team. Nice edge guard by Rick. And they have setups like that. Like, they can kill with me or, like, a Falco down there at low percent. And yep. they're a very opportunistic team. Like, Falco gets a shine. Falcon runs across stage and knees them while they're in the air. Like, those kind of setups are really good. And so you're seeing, even though it looks like Red Team is getting dominated, like, they're actually still in this game. That hurts, though. Oh, yeah. You really want the Falcon to live to, like, 200%, like, as much as you can. Getting up smashed at the exact kill percent feels rough. Oh, just got reverse kicked. Red Team on offense. They need, they need to make the most out of this offense. Yeah, they, re they really do. Ouch. Oh, jeez. That's a big ouch right there. That's the game. Too much speed. It's hard to say what exactly the red team should be doing better because they got a lot of early kills. Yeah, they were they were they were hitting their setups, making sure that the kills counted. Uh, but green team was just able to absolutely dominate the stage, uh, yeah. taking advantage of uh, all of the fast aerials into shine. Yeah, you know it's going to be really hard for O'Reilly to play with the gun on, but I feel like the gun has to be on in this matchup. Like yeah. I feel like it, the the movement is too much right now. There needs to be more disruption happening. They need to do some tricks, have some bursts of speed, and lasers really help to do that. Oh, nice. He is not the fastest move, but when it hits, you die, so. Oh, yeah. They'll take it. Nice drift by O'Reilly, and he has an opportunity here, unable to capitalize. Double, sometimes the chaos is just too much for you to react to. Nice team combo by Red Team. This is Falcon down throw into like shine back air back air. It was pretty cool. Oh, and now finally we're gonna see a really stock. Got suplexed by the new foxes. Up smash to bear. Okay. Wow, great we can Oh, what an angle. That has to be hacked. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard to tell which fox is which, but sometimes you see little, little like, uh, hallmarks yeah. of their gameplay stick out. I'm pretty sure, um, Absent Page usually wears a tag, so that's kind yeah. of how I identify it. Woo, this pressure. <laughs> fox team not letting Falcon breathe, but to O'Reilly's credit, he held his shield up, did his job, yeah. and Falco came in to help him. That's kind of what you have to hope for sometimes as that type of character, like a Falcon or a Marth. Like, you just have to hope that your teammate is going to get there and help you out, otherwise you just have to wait. Nice. 
Oh, nice spot dodge read. Is he gonna go out? Doesn't go for it. I think he was getting a little too caught up in all the hitboxes. Yeah, it could be scary. It's really just about winning this matchup will be about knowing when to take that risk. Yeah. Oh, that's not the type of risk though. That Falco is dead, and their lead looks like it's gone. Nice lasers by the rig. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no way to get back to neutral, and now Rick is under pressure. Green team is looking to capitalize. Oh, wow. that was so fast. And it's O'Reilly versus the world. He's got two. <laughs> this is O'Reilly's nightmare right now. Yeah. Like, his, if he could, like, I, this is his pain. Oh, this my is, God. I feel like Absent Page knows what he hates somehow. Because that was, like, if I could describe O'Reilly's, what he wakes up yeah. in at the middle of the night. It's getting kicked by a hundred foxes. <laughs> yeah. From all different sides. Ox was hacks with a big grin on his face. Yeah. Absent Page still still stone cold. Absent Page? Looking like a zombie. Yeah. Like he's here for brains and nothing else. One goal. <laughs> Game three coming up. Long talk from Aurelia and Rick. They know they have a long way to go if they're gonna bring back this set. Yeah, it, it's tough. Do you go do you go back to Dreamland? That was a close set that was a close game. But I think or that's do you what think they're there's a better about. counter pick? Yeah. I feel like if O'Reilly doesn't knee Rick in the face at that one point, they probably win. That's yeah. no fault of O'Reilly, it's just like there's a lot of chaos going on with this team. And they kind of just need those wire crossings to not happen, you know? Yeah, I think in this matchup, a lot of a lot of what you're doing is trying to capitalize on that chaos. Yeah. And sometimes when you just end up caught up in it too much to actually uh, hit the right player. Yeah. Dash tag bear. Oh, creative combo, waiting for the grab release. That was really cool. Uh, or really gets caught reaching out of the corner. That's rough. It's a tough situation to be in. Oh. Because like so many Fox and Falco moves make the same noise. It's just like sometimes there's just the same kick noise happening in my ear like ten times in a row. It's like nair, bear, bear, nair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best way to edge guard Falcon with a spacey like that is to meet him as high as possible. Yep. See the foxes going out there and hitting Falcon at the apex of his upbeat where he can't really drift. He just goes all the way back out there. Oh, okay. Tricky, but perhaps too tricky. Yeah. <laughs> and now this game looking far less close than the last one. Yeah, they're going to need a lot to go their way right now. Honestly, maybe like an SD. Maybe two. <laughs> Those are, that's a good start. That is a very oh, good start yes. by Rick. Oh. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah. I respect it. He, he went for it all. Yeah. That situation, if they hit that, they get some momentum. It's only a one-stock game. But instead, this is looking oh, over. Geez. Yeah. And that is a 30. Riggs, or Hacks and Absent Page will move on to winner's finals. Play Ginger and Abu. That will be a good set. Yeah. I'm excited for that one. The double foxes might be to their match there. But today, a clean 3-0. Yep. Looked rough. Looked like kind of like everything had to go right.